Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Welcome to my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead. It is Sunday, December 2nd, 2018. People, the news, and I mean the news, it's huge. Uh, well, maybe not to you if you follow this blog because you already knew how this would play out and how, because I told you just this past Friday. Uh, sometimes, sincerely, I scare myself. Uh, but again, let's try to put this all into perspective. The environment we are existing in is engineered and it is fake. This is our strength. Understanding how they will keep this afloat allows you and I to have a very clear understanding of, of how our leaders are going to uh, attempt to make policy. It's such a joke. I, I, I can't even believe I'm putting it in those terms. So let's talk about it. So apparently, I'm telling you people, um, if you have not seen the video that I did on Friday, watch it. Apparently, there's been some kind of a truce that's the word being used by everywhere. Go, go look it up. Uh, all the mainstream channels right now, it's all being reported on as a truce between uh, China and the United States on trade. Interestingly, on Friday, I said, that was the first word out of my mouth. I said, watch what's going to happen. Some kind of a truce is going to be put in place. Um, look, I don't have a crystal ball. That's the truth. But it's just so simple because it's all fake uh, and people just believe that it's true. Everything they're seeing. Let me talk about a few other things. Let's talk about this entire week and a couple of other developments as of late with regard to crude oil. So look, for months, um, it's so sad. It's the truth. Uh, people were believing that uh, President Trump was going to take some kind of action against the Federal Reserve, the good cop, bad cop routine, which played out uh, the, the pinnacle just last week when we got the Trump Powell put under this market. I explained to you how President Trump got what he wanted, and that is very simply keep rates suppressed for as far as the eye can see, which means the Federal Reserve gets to issue their product for as far as the eye can see, which is debt. Uh, keeping rates suppressed involves money printing and adding digits to a screen into infinity to buy debt to keep rates suppressed. This is quantitative easing, uh, stealth mode. That's all this is. It's a stealth quantitative easing to keep everything propped up. Nobody's talking about it, but that's exactly what it is. So that was stage one, and I explained to you, we were waiting for stage two. Stage two, I told you how it would play out. I said again, uh, they were, President Trump, President Xi, the communist leader of China, were going to come up with a scenario where they would both win. Those are my exact words. And that's what happened here. That's what they're calling this. Uh, President Trump is calling this a win. President Xi is calling this a win. Uh, it's an incredible thing. Uh, I, I swear to you. It's mind-blowing to me. But uh, I don't see how those of you out here who are expecting President Trump to hit China, keep hitting them harder with more tariffs because we have the upper hand, which we do not have the upper hand here in the United States. You can scream and cry all you want. We don't. If we did have the upper hand, do you believe that President Trump would have wanted a truce right now? Of course not. And there's a reason why there is a truce here as well against a charade. Uh, and they both can claim victory. Now, something else happened um, over the weekend, which we have not seen this entire year, and this is going to affect crude oil. I ran, uh, for the first time this entire year, uh, launched a multi-warhead ballistic missile. Uh, and this has got some some lawmakers up in arms here because they're violating treaties. Why, why do you believe 
seriously and sincerely that uh, Iran chose to do this now. Maybe because the price of crude oil, again, is hovering around $50 a barrel and they need to prop this up. Of course, that's all this is. Uh, and I've explained this to all of you repeatedly throughout the years so many times. It all Look, all of this comes down to money, Wall Street, and central banks. That's it. Everything else you're seeing is a distraction. Everything else you're seeing is a show. Focus on what is actually happening, not about speculation of anything else, because it's just so simple and, and just cutting through the nonsense allows you to understand what they're going to do before they do it. It's just too easy. So we have three things that are unfolding here in this market which will push stocks higher. Number one this week, uh, the Trump Powell put the this gag that was played on the American people here, um, which has now led to a new stealth quantitative easing. President Trump, and I mean President Trump is in bed so deeply under the covers, literally, with Powell. I mean, they are now one in the same. They have become one. You got it? And we all understand that it's world central banks running the show. Uh, governments, the government is the world central banks. The president, all the world leaders are nothing but mouthpieces to keep the people in line, to make people believe that there's something else going on. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's too much. It's laughable, uh, honestly, how people fall into this trap. That was stage one. Stage two is now complete. The truce between China and the United States regarding trade. Um, again, what a joke. What a charade. The trade charade. Seriously. And then number three, Iran launching this multi-warhead ballistic missile. So these three factors are going to affect the market in a positive way, which, is, which was the game plan to begin with, to keep the middle class getting their crumbs, crumbs, and I'm talking crumbs here. Um, while the cash continues to flow into the stock market, uh, making CEOs richer. I understand, this is the time of year where, where CEOs are counting on their stocks moving higher. They get paid in stock. Um, that's the way this is. Uh, the entire system is rigged against you. I don't care what political affiliation you may have. I don't care how loudly you want to scream about how this politician is the greatest or this politician is the worst. It doesn't matter. It's a game of distraction to keep you off balance. That's all it is. If you're going to fall into that trap, you, you are a sheep of the highest order. Find your pathway right up the middle and you'll see a lot more clearly. So that's where we are at right now. The stage has been set, and we're gonna watch this play out, period. Now, if you're interested in, in seeing for yourself where I foretold exactly how this would play out, watch the video that I did on Friday. Um, I forgot the title of it, Lies, fal Falsehoods, Lies, and Deceptions. Well, I outlined exactly what would happen this weekend. The first word out of my mouth was a truce. Uh, I believe that would happen, and that's exactly what did happen here. No surprise to me. Should not be a surprise to you. Me, personally, I am in all the right spots right now. Go to my website, traderschoice.net. Look at my credit spreads all on the long end. I will be having a very Merry Christmas. Thank, thanks to Donald Trump. Thanks to President Xi. Thanks to the, the Trump Powell put, uh, I mean, I know I get all up in arms with these with the fakery in this market, but that's how we win. That's how we capitalize. We weaponize it against them. We use what they're going to do against them. And we don't sit back and get sheared like everybody else, period. I always promise you, you would not lose on my watch. Well, you're not losing here. With that said, people, I will see you all in the morning. I cannot wait for the opening bell. <laughs> See you tomorrow.